Aesthetica says in its description of Ellis, at a short blunt cut with wispy bangs that are face framing and sexy. There's the bait. Are you going to be hooked? Today's wig was provided by tlwigs.com in the hopes that these reviews will help you build the best wig wardrobe for just yourself. Take a moment to admire the pristine condition of this wig box. Oh man, love that. She came wrapped beautifully. I should have filmed it, but I was impatient. <laughs> so I've already checked her out. I've gone through the seaming. I've looked at her cap construction and she is great. She has a beautiful uh, ear tab to ear tab lace front, very deep here and quite wide uh, left part all the way back to the tip of the crown, which is gonna be really important on uh, a straight style like this. She has um, a little bit of clothes lace here. Do not feel. I mean, there's permatease. There has to be on top, but it's so minimal. These ear tabs are canvas, canvas ear tab. There is a metal stay. Uh, there is an open nape. And Aesthetica has these sort of bra string clasps with adjusters that you can clip into. If these start slipping out on you, it's an easy fix. Go ahead and uh, put it where you like it and put one little stitch there, solid. So this is Ellis by Aesthetica. Let's see what she looks like. Mmm, oh, she's sleek. Wow. Oh, that is so, oh, it's like silk. Pardon me. I look off into the mirror and then I look into the screen and I look into the mirror and I look into the screen. So excuse me while I look at myself. It is 10 inches from the nape to the ends in the back. That's it, described as six and a half inches on the sides. And that's because if I can show like there are some short layers there's some very razor cut edges in here, if you can see those. But overall, it is about 10 inches. It's got a side swept bang, which is nice. It is in the color, let me see here, RH1488RT8. That is considered a dark blonde with very light highlights, very light blonde highlights, and a light brown root. And this is so sleek. I feel like, I feel like a runway model. I do not look at you. You do not see me. You see only hair. Yes, when you have an accent that bad, you offend nobody, right? Because because are you ready to go warm here in the uh, Pacific Northwest of the United States? It's autumn is on its way. And just like the leaves change color and the trees, and we start to drink warm beverages and eat warm things here, we buy warm colored clothes. We wig sisters build our winter warm wig collection. So if you want to uh, look at changing, warming it up a little bit, this is a great color. It's light and blonde, but it's warm. And it, I really feel like this light, mid light tone color is very pleasing on most skin tones. I'm very fair, but I have a, a two-tone complexion. 
I have a, a pink, kind of blue based pink skin tone with orange freckles. <laughs> so I can kind of go cool and I can kind of go warm. And this wig is very much the same way. It's got some warm, it's got some cool. And I'll give you the tour, if you will. What do you think? Is she sexy? She is. Okay, let's get a little closer to this beautiful lace front. Oh, it's so silky. It is plucked a little bit. You can see into the hairline. And that really is one of the beautiful things about a lace front is that it's thinner in the front and it doesn't have that hard edge that a base. You know the drill, ladies. Get in there. We're gonna loosen her up. I know she's sleek, but let me see if I can see myself. She's sleek, but she's got layers which tells me she's not meant to be glued to your head. This blunt cut is so edgy and contemporary. This feels youthful. I'm an old lady, but I don't need to look like it. So let's loosen her up. Oh, just scratching the base of the wefts. I don't wanna mess with the hair fibers so much. I don't want to cause friction or damage to the actual hairs. I just want to agitate the roots so the hair is not clumped together and falling so straight. Okay, that, that was good. Now let's give her a big old heavy flick. Okay, a few heavy flicks. All right, let's see here. Get her back on. Pull her up. Situate her. Mm. I like, oh, I didn't get rid of that zigzag part there. Okay, now I'm feeling less chic and more, hmm, more natural. I really am liking the way she's loosening up. Oh my goodness, I'm starting to see the layers. I'm starting to see the actual haircut. It's a lovely, lovely style. It's so edgy and youthful. I think I need to push these back a little bit because they are face floppers because it were meant to go to the side. And I have decided to change their direction. So I'm just doing little circles at the base to, to just change up the direction that all those fibers want to go and I loosen them up. Look at the difference right there. I just scratched it out. Already they're starting to fall naturally and do the same thing over here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at the difference some scrunching can do at the roots. Look at the difference. I didn't do the back very much. Let's do that real quick. See what the back looks like. Take a peek. 
Oh yeah, that looks very natural. One of the really great things about Ellis is this length. It's gonna last because there's no rubbing happening. Look at this is great. Now I'm gonna have to put, before I wear her out, I'm gonna have to put some hairspray in this because it's so silky. It's just slipping and sliding everywhere. If you have somebody who likes to put his hands in your hair, these silky fibers of a basic synthetic feel great. Ellis looks like I just came from the hairdresser. She's sleek, she's sexy, she's got the wispy bangs and the face framing layers and she is sexy, youthful, and natural. Natural. Thank you for coming to my channel to see the wig review of Aesthetica's Ellis. Warming it up a little bit for the next season. If you would like to build your wardrobe for the fall, please go to tlwigs.com where you will find so many sales, so many giveaways, and such a good time. And if you really want help with your wig collection, figuring out what looks good on you, recommendations for what's hot and trending, what's classic and uh, timeless, please go to the TL Wigs support group on Facebook. It is a private group where you can commiserate with ladies on your struggles, and you can be proactive in preventing any problems by talking out it out with seasoned wig wearers and figuring out how to bypass all the, the problems. I say thank you for tuning in. Please, if you've enjoyed the content on this channel, please subscribe, it really does help. And like this video so YouTube knows you wanna see more and share it with a friend because the online wig journey is not an easy one, but we're here to help. Wig Sisters Unite, helping each other to build our beautiful wig wardrobes. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks, love ya, bye. Beautiful. Oh man, go get you one. She comes in lots of colors. <laughs>